Within the state of Arizona are a number of fascinating geologic features. These range from the impressive Grand Canyon to the towering pillars of ash representing an ancient supervolcano in Chiricahua National Monument, to the well-preserved meteor crater impact crater near Flagstaff. Another one of these geologic oddities is located in the northeast part of the state on the Navajo Nation. Zooming in from satellite, you might think that this feature, termed Buell Park, is also an impact crater. However, this is not the case. Instead, it is volcanic in origin, but does not purely represent only a caldera. Rather, this circular area represents the largest kimberlite pipe on the planet. Kimberlites are the main source of industrial and gem-grade diamonds, and this individual vent has produced a number of beautiful gemstones. The vast majority of kimberlite pipes around the planet are quite small, measuring between 75 and 300 meters across. The most famous of these, known as the Big Hole, measures 463 meters across and produces 14.5 million carats of diamonds. These pipes are named due to their rather round shape and abundance of the rare volcanic rock known as kimberlite. Kimberlite is an unusual gray volcanic rock which has a low silica content and originates from molten rock deep within the mantle between a depth of 150 and 450 kilometers. As a result, kimberlites contain seemingly exotic minerals that are otherwise not commonly found due to the depths they originate from. Formation of this kimberlite pipe began approximately 25 million years ago when an unusual series of volcanics referred to as the Navajo Volcanic Field were erupting across parts of Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado. At the time, the Farallon Tectonic Plate was subducting underneath the North American Plate at a very shallow angle. Melted material from this collision then migrated upwards before erupting on the surface, thus forming this chain of volcanoes. Much of the magma which erupted into these scattered vents had an unusually low silica content as it originated deep in the mantle. Eventually, a volume of magma unusually rich in carbon dioxide was quickly propelled upwards into the crust. On the surface, a series of increasingly shallow earthquakes continued. Then, less than two hours after the entire sequence began, the magma had reached the surface. This magma quickly interacted with the volume of groundwater, causing it to rapidly flash to steam. This steam then expanded in volume until a massive explosion occurred. As a tall plume of ash rose into the atmosphere, pyroclastic flows raced across the surrounding landscape. The eruption which had just occurred formed a 4.5 km or 2.8 mile wide volcanic crater called a tuff ring. Then, out of this crater, a large volume of magma erupted onto the surface, carrying with it an abundance of kimberlite lava. Once this solidified, a different composition magma intruded into the crust, forming two large intrusions on the overall kimberlite pipe. This fresh batch of magma created another large volume explosive eruption, once again sending a plume of ash high into the atmosphere. Then, due to the amount of magma erupted, the underlying magma chamber was nearing unempty. This caused a section of ground to collapse downwards, forming a caldera. The rain dike shown here merely represents solidified magma at the edge of that caldera which has since been exposed due to erosion. Sadly, this kimberlite pipe did not bring any diamonds to the surface. However, it did bring a number of other wonderful gemstones to the surface. The most abundant gemstone which can be today found at the site is peridot, which also originates in the upper mantle. If a rock with a reddish-black crystal is spotted, you have found a pyrope garnet. Many of the black crystals found are diopside, while orangish-brown crystals are clinohumite. All of these can be used in jewelry, presuming you have permission to collect there as it is Navajo land. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.